Hey everybody, this is Jessica Lynn, and I am the owner and artist of Jessica Lynn Original Studios, or JessicaLynnOriginal.com. Welcome, I am so excited to have you here. Just a reminder, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already done so, down at the bottom right, just click on that, subscribe. We'd love to have you here to watch some of our videos. So, first thing we're gonna do today is I am gonna show you something interesting that I tried with a new digital stamp that we have on our website. JustGlenOriginal.com, navigate to digital stamps, and then choose the stamp you want. Go ahead, add it to cart, and go ahead and process your payment, and you will get instant download. So you don't have to wait for the card or stamps to be mailed. You can just get them right away, which is awesome, because you can craft right away. I put mine into a Word doc, so I can go ahead and print them out and get started right away. So one of the things that sometimes can be frustrating to me is when you have sentiments with a digital stamp, because I either have to cut it and make it like a banner or something. So I thought, what if I print it with enough room that it would be centered within my card and I could do something creative where it'll already be printed on there and almost look like I stamped it on. So I figured that out in the Word doc. And then what I'm doing, you can see I'm just using my card as a template. Now I would suggest using pencil or something so you can erase it. I only use the pen so that you know you can visibly see it on our video here today, but I wouldn't encourage you to use ink pen because it's smeared a little bit, which was kind of a pain, but totally fine. Um, and all I'm doing, you see, is I went ahead and actually put the sentiment where I knew I was going to want it in its final position. So it takes a little thought and pre-planning so that you're ready to do that. Um, I'm kind of excited to see if this works. You know, I have no idea. I think that it's going to turn out cool. I want it to look as though I actually stamped it on the card, even though I printed it using my printer. Because sometimes when you get digital images, you go, well, it doesn't look like it was stamped because it just doesn't have that same feel because everything has to be glued or put onto the card. So this will be a fun test to see if it works. Now, one of the things that I wanted to do was to cut off about an eighth of an inch all the way around because I wanted a white border. I knew I wanted that because I'm gonna be using uh, Distress Oxide inks today and I wanted to have just a small border. So I went ahead and pulled out my trimmer and took about an eighth of an inch all the way around. And I do have to say that Amy, um, shout out to you. Number one, she, for Christmas, got me a gift certificate from A Colorful Life Designs, and they do uh, Distress Oxide templates. And I am addicted to these things. I absolutely love the Distress Oxide. I think they're so much fun. And I'm gonna use two particular colors today, uh, the Shabby Shutters and the Mowed Lawn. I want greens, um, but I want two different colors that kind of pop, because I wanna stack and layer the colors. Now, I am currently working on a children's book, which is going to feature a lot of Distress Oxide, so I am really trying to learn them, and it's a ton of fun. If you haven't tried, just try it. Um, I at first wasn't very sure if I was going to love it. It's kind of weird. It's like painting with shoe polish, but it's a lot of fun. And the way the cards look when they're done, it's so cool. So go try it. Don't invest a lot. Go get one or two brushes, one or two colors. Start small, build up. Now, with the gift certificate that I got from Amy, I purchased a couple of different templates. So I got the clouds, which I cannot wait to use. 
And then I also bought doo -doo -doo, some little love hearts and some leaves and a brick mm -mm -mm, wall. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, brick wall. Super excited to play around with these. And today, because we're doing with uh, card with some birds, I'm going to use the leaves. And I wanted to find the ones that look the most tropical. The ones on top remind me a little too much of fall, so I'm not going to use those. And what I'm going to do is I am going to layer the inks just a little um, because the shutter, that lighter green, um, is very light. Like it's not quite the color I thought it would be. And it's weird because when it dries, it turns a little more olivey than I thought it would. So definitely test it out, especially if you're making a card that you know you want some specifics set up for it, uh, just to make sure that it's going to do exactly what you want. Now I'm going to use my brushes. I used one big fat brush and one tiny little brush. Uh, technique I learned, obviously watching a lot of YouTube videos, make sure you do everything in the circular motion because it works better. And I always put a piece of paper off below because again, I need to make sure that um, it doesn't end up all over. And I am so sorry, I thought I had everything lined up and I realized after I filmed that it was slightly south. So I apologize that you can't see all the detail. I promise in a few moments I'll move it up and you can see it better. All I can say is by mixing the two colors, it just looks so pretty. So I'll just do it again so you can see it. And again, I apologize that the other was low. Make sure you hold it tight so it doesn't move. But I love using this template. Um, what's nice is it's a lightweight plastic that it really gets me a really nice crisp edge unless I move the template around. Um, but what I also did in the bottom ones was I took the smaller brush and just sort of touched some of the bottom parts of the leaves so that it would be focused on, you know, like a sun source would be on the top, leaves would be darker on the bottom, which turned out really well. And now I'm just gonna go to smoosh a little bit of that off there. And there's that shabby shutters. It's so, I love these inks. They're so much fun. It's such a fun way to, to play around. Now I'm gonna clean off just a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go all the way around the outside. Cause remember, I want that white border all the way around. So watch what I'm going to do is just hit the corners so that when it is on that white background with that eighth of an inch that I took off, it's going to really pop. Um, it's something I like to do with die cuts too. So die cuts like with that little stitch edge. I always think just doing something small on the edge of a layer on layer where one layer is just slightly smaller looks really cool. The other thing that's kind of fun about this is that remember we printed that sentiment with the printer. So it's already in there and it literally looks like when I'm looking at the card right now, it looks like I stamped it on. So again, a fun way to kind of fake that. Now I'm going to layer up some more colors and I'm going to go right over the top. So let me just go ahead and get that held. There we go. And we're just going to layer them up. Now again, there's going to be birds on these, so it's not going to stand out quite as much as it does prior to the birds. But I wanted something to show multiple layers of leaves. Now, I could have started with a really fun blue background with maybe like white in the middle, kind of gradating out, or I could have started with something else, or I could have added some more darker leaves. A lot of different options here. Um, again, my goal is to inspire you to, you know, come up with something that, oop, let me just hold that still, there we go. You know, that, you know, you want to try and do. And I'll tell you, I'm very inspired by the template stencil arts that I've seen. Um, Amy does an amazing job. Um, she just, she is definitely my stencil girl. And I love seeing the stuff she creates using them. And I am just, I love these. So thank you, Amy, for, you know, surprising me for Christmas. It really sort of made me look at how I am illustrating my book very differently. So I'm very excited. So I think this is going to look great though. So I'm going to go ahead, finish this up. And then the next step will be to get the birds all ready.
because I'm someone who loves to do illustration, coloring is one of my favorite parts of cards. As you can see, the Distress Oxide inks are sort of setting over there on the left-hand side. And as they dry, look at the depth it has in that card. Like, I, I love it. I think the birds are gonna look great. And I'm gonna color both of these as traditional toucans, although you could color them as parrots. They would probably look fine, although they have the bigger beaks. So they might look a little more like birds in the Tiki Room at Disney World. Um, but again, if you're going to do black, start lightest black and build your colors up because once you go super dark, it's really hard to remove colors. So as you can see, I'm stacking up grays to get my birds to a darker black color. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in all those beautiful, bright, vivid beak colors. And then from there, we've got a couple more steps and our card is almost ready. All right, so now that we've got them all colored in, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take it to the Brothers Scan and Cut. One of the things I like is that I don't have to worry about having any kind of die cuts for it. I can just throw it on there, it'll scan it and cut them out. So one of the suggestions I have is that you can see I cut mine fairly small. You may wanna think about when you cut out your digital stamps, if you're gonna run it through the Brothers Scan and Cut, make it a square. Now you might say, what? Because it, it's very, I don't know what the right word is, but it is very temperamental when it comes to how it finds imagery when it scans. So if there's extra things around it, it may try and cut out something that doesn't exist. So if you make it a square around whatever your image is, it will find that and it'll be easier to kind of block and cut it out. So you'll see that, see how mine are all misshaped? See, I can't find a nice solid square to easily cut it. So unless you're comfortable with it, I would probably encourage you to um, cut it as a square. It'll save you some stress. Now, uh, side note, uh, here at Jessica Lynn Original, Jessica Lynn Original Studios, uh, JessicaLynnOriginal.com is our website, but Jessica Lynn Original Studios is everything that encompasses what I offer at my website. Uh, one of the things for 2021 I am so excited to announce is that we are starting up a digital stamp club. Um, we are in our second month already uh, here on YouTube. So you'll see a little join button down in the bottom right, kind of over where you can subscribe. If you click on that, um, we do have a Digi Club of the Month that you could join. Every month I draw one of a kind limited edition digital stamps that I only provide to this digital club. They choose what images they want me to draw. Last month we did a carousel horse. This month we're doing some really pretty birds and flowers, so I cannot wait to uh, give that out to them. So I'm really excited. So if you want to join, um, all the money goes back, obviously, to support our channel, uh, to purchase additional Distress Oxides, inks, pens, Copics, etc. So I appreciate all of your support, but I'll be honest, even if you can't do that, even just sharing our videos, encouraging your friends to come watch, all of that helps us as well. So. Thank you. Uh, other things that are coming on the JessicaLynnOriginal.com website are going to be some new dog stamps. So I have been drawing like crazy and I just have been getting myself organized. Took me a little longer than I hoped, but uh, new stamps are coming. So there already are new digitals up, like this adorable toucan. Don't forget, always sign the back of your cards. I know I encourage you that with every video. Now I just went ahead and with that fun page that I created where I cut off that eighth of an inch around. You can see I just glued it right on the front, but look at how cool it looks like I stamped it. I am so excited. So cute. So now I couldn't decide if the birds should go like that or the other way and I ended up putting one bird down first and then the other one. Um, I liked how it kind of looked like it was sitting on the word toucan, so that's kind of fun. 
So I like this. I'm really proud of this process. I am proud of the fact that, you know, I made it look like it was printed or like it was stamped right on there, which is kind of cool. You know, I didn't have to make a banner or do something like that. So definitely kind of a different way to think about it. So I want to try that again, maybe with a more complex kind of pattern. So that'll be fun to try too. Uh, foam risers for the birds, give them a little dimension, which I think will add something. Um, now with the new stamps that are coming, uh, I am going to be launching other products with it. So definitely start watching the JessicaLynnOriginal.com website because one of the new products is already up. Um, for Cancer Awareness, which was uh, Cancer Awareness Day was February 4th. And I designed a really beautiful butterfly six series. And it's in all the colors of the m highest numbered cancers. So there is a beautiful white one, uh, kind of an ivory. Uh, there is a beautiful pink ribbon, a blue, an orange, green, and a purple. And we offer it as not only a t-shirt, but also a really fun bag. Um, I currently have a friend who I have known forever who is currently fighting cancer, and I'm going to be sending one of these to her. Uh, the bag is perfect, you know, so it's fun if you like to make cards, you could put all your stuff in it. Or, you know, if you like to knit, I know a lot of women who like to knit, or men, and they take those bags with them to treatments. So that is another new product. So there's a lot of stuff coming. Um, this card, though, I am so excited. I think it looks so cool. I love the, dis the Distressed Oxide inks. They just look so cool and what a fun way to use a digital stamp so super happy with this card yay well again guys my name is jessica lynn i'm the owner artist of jessica lynn original studios featured at jessicalynoriginal.com please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and don't forget if you want to join our digital stamp club of the month go ahead and click on that join and you'll be ready thank you again guys i hope that you have a wonderful day take care